Hiya folks, welcome back for part 16 of Let's Play Nelson Tethers, Puzzle Agent. If you recall, I'll go over the... You can read the rules here, pause it if you need to. But, as I was saying, we know there are four redfish, and if each redfish swallows a bluefish, there are six of them. And as for greenfish, we have one, two, three... Four, five, because the two green fish are inside the blue fish. And for tiny tan fish here, one inside here, one inside here, one inside here, and one inside him means there are five of them. So, since these are the least numerous kind, meaning there must be at least five of each other type, the key can't be inside one of the green ones or the, the tan one there because if it is, then there are only four tan fish around, and you can't have that. Green fish, well, one, two, three, four, five, only five of them, so it has to be one of the blue fish has to be replaced with a key. So that means it must be inside one of these uh, red fish. Easy enough. And since the key is on the line with five fish, it means it must be up here, because if it were down here, that would be seven fish plus a key inside one. Ta-da! And I'd hate to think we have to send this one off to the FBI for evaluation. We'd be dead by the time it got back, even at $75,000 a pop. This should explain it. The key is on a line with five fish, meaning it must be aligned with three visible fish, two of which have another fish inside them. There are a total of 19 fish. If the red fish is the least numerous, there must be five of every other species. If you do the math, you can deduce that there is one red fish without a blue fish in it. There's only one red fish on a line with three visible fish. Bingo. Get out of there, dude. Scream is a good idea. Well, it's worth a scream there. That was a close call. Indeed it was. What the heck happened here, Agent Tethers? Sheriff Bob, Glory Davner tried to kill me. Come on, Tethers. You sure that sweet little girl? Yeah, Sheriff, we're pretty I sure. Swear, she is not as innocent as she looks. Okay, I'll go find her and ask her a few questions. You stay out of trouble now. We'd love to. Believe me. <sighs> I like my office. It's warm in my office. It's quiet in my office. There are no maniacal gnomes or chainsaw-wielding waitresses in my office. <sighs> I need to get back to the lodge, fix that gear, and get the hell out of here. Agreed there. <laughs> I just love that line. There are no maniacal gnomes or chainsaw-wielding waitresses in my office. <laughs> I agree with him there. <laughs> You feel sorry for him at this point. You really do. I'm pretty sure there's no reason to go back to anywhere. I'm pretty sure we're done with all this. Hello again, Daryl. And Daryl. How are you doing, Steve? See ya, Steve. See? No more. Yeah, if anyone knows of any more puzzles that come up with the birds, the bugs, or bow, then yeah, let me know and I'll go take a look at them and add it to the end of this Let's Play, but I just don't think there are any more. I think we're pretty much done. I can get in now. Amazing how it isn't locked anymore, huh? Okay, let's get this gear back together. Indeed we will. And same puzzle as before. I don't like these puzzles, but hey, what you gonna do? Not much. And there we 
go. The gear is all assembled. We'll have at least one more gear puzzle before the end. One glued together gear, good as new. Aw, oh, son of a! There you, go. you just don't come into our town and pretend you know how everything works? I think I'm starting to figure it out. The sheriff distracted by your puzzle. Get out of there. Well, he's feverishly staring at the puzzle. That's not a good idea. Indeed, it's not. Anything else out here? No gum. No gum. Oh, well. Are you serious? What? Sheriff's as crooked as they come. Looks like he's sabotaged my snowmobile. Aw, man. Snowmobile snafu. Sheriff Bog has sabotaged Nelson's snowmobile. Rotate tiles to create a path from fuel tank to exhaust. We could just take the sheriffs. I mean, you know. But here we go. We gotta turn this. Yeah, that's the way we get turned. That, then there. No, that doesn't quite fit. That fits. Yeah, we turn this around. Nope. There we go. Make that go down. There. Is that right? Has to be. No. Yes. No. Not quite. There we go. Kind of. Well, okay, that feeds into there, I guess. Wow, that kind of goes off into space, doesn't it? Once again, solved. Good job. Your motor's churning, and so is the snowmobiles. And here we are. Just kind of automatically takes us here. All we have is that. Isaac, I'm with the FBI, Department of Puzzle Research. If you're still in there, don't worry. I'm coming in to rescue you. Master Locksmith. Nelson's three gears seem to have come apart, and looks like the pieces can be arranged into one giant gear. Can you get it in gear to solve this puzzle? Well, once again, this is another one of those... You know, you fill in the blanks here about whatever you want to call it, but, you know, pieces, uh, just picture-locking puzzles, what I call it. Not a fan of them, because these are a little too, I don't know, easy, I guess. And let's see. No, I don't want that piece. I want the piece next to it. No, I don't. Yeah, which piece do I want to go with that? Nope. 
Oh, it looks like I get to solve this puzzle next time, folks. Until then, take care, everybody. See everyone later.